Hi, welcome back for part two. Here we go, more toys in the kitchen. This one is a gourmet olive oil sprayer. I've never used one, never had one, but I think I'm gonna start using one a lot more lately. Uh, great for spritzing on top of things like salads and vegetables before you put them in the oven so you don't overdo it. Lots of times if you pour oil, you put too much, but a sprayer just gives it a fine mist, just enough to, for what you need. This is a, uh, a spoon rest. I'll show you how that works. Lemons here for our citrus spritzer. You stick it in there and you spray juice. Supposedly, this is gonna work, this is from Bat19. Uh, you stab it into here and you can just use it as a sprayer to spray lemon juice right out of the lemon or any citrus you can do it with. These are some cool measuring cups. I'll show you how they work. And they're magnetic so they stick on the fridge or wherever you want them to stick. Oh, right here at the magnet, there we go. And this is a grilling mat, and there's another one underneath it. I'm going to grill my fish on this, on the barbecue. This is to put on top of the grill, and from what I understand is you get the grill marks still, but things don't fall through the grill now because you have a grill mat. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna demonstrate are these, these two measuring devices. These are pretty cool. I got the big papa one and the little baby one, and here it shows you tablespoons on this side, teaspoons on that side, and you just adjust to what you need. Here is ounces, and this is milliliters, and you just adjust to what you need. So let's say I need, I need one tablespoon, so I'm gonna slide up to one tablespoon of sugar. That's all I need, so see how it shows only one? It's gonna hold one tablespoon of sugar. So you go in here, you scoop it, you tap it a little bit. That is one tablespoon of sugar right there. Ta-da. Let's, uh, let's say I need two ounces of milk. So I'm gonna set this to two ounces of milk or a quarter cup of milk or four teaspoons of milk, whatever. I'm gonna go get my milk and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you hold it like that and you're gonna pour your milk in. You're gonna fill it up all the way to the top. A little bit more. Now, that's hard to carry. So you just pull back on the lever, now that you've already measured it, and drop it all the way down. Look how easy it is to carry now. Then you bring it over to your bowl, and you can pour it right in. So once you measure it, pull back and get yourself some room in the little measuring device. These things rock. I'm telling you guys, my mom used to have one of these in the kitchen all the time. I don't... I, I must be like sacrilegious to be Italian and not have a, a olive oil spritzer. So look, there's a fill line there, see that? You don't fill the oil all the way up to here. Go ahead and put it up to there and you do just a little bit of spraying. Look how beautiful, I love the look of olive oil. It's just so clean. Put that back in there. Close it. And then here's your lid, put that right there. Here's the fish that I'm gonna be grilling. Got some ginger root on top. Just gonna start spraying. Okay, here we go. This is the device, it's all clean. This is the device I thought was going to fail us. This is the citrus sprayer, okay? And they say you stab it in here and you start spraying. I'm gonna get it started just to give it a, the best test possible. I'm gonna break down the lemon. You do this with lemons or anything you're gonna juice. Just roll it real hard on the table. Okay, so the citrus sprayer is now inside the lemon. I just stabbed it in. Now, let's give it a spray, you ready? Can you see how, how wet it's getting? This thing really works. Look how, look how much is coming out. Can you see it in my hand? Look at that, that's crazy. It just keeps squirting. Look at that, it really works. Okay, this is a good old spoon rest. Let's say I'm making something on the stove and I'm stirring it up and I wanna rest my spoon. Well, on my new stove, I don't have a place to rest my spoon. There's no place to put a spoon rest. So you take one of these and you just clamp it on the side right there, I guess, right? Like that, there you go. So I'm mixing and mixing, okay, now I'm done. 
There. That's it. Put it right there. Spaghetti sauce especially. And then just put it right in there. And it holds it. It'll hold round ones, it'll hold flat ones, it'll hold square ones. So you use it when you're cooking. Take it over the sink, rinse it off. It's got food on it, right? It's, it's obviously a great tool. Last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go outside right now. It's getting dark, so we gotta do it fast. Gonna go outside and grill this fish on these mats. I'm gonna bring some vegetables out too. We'll, we'll grill those and see how they do. And we might even spritz them with a little oil. There we go. Take some of my, my vegetables. Get those out here. Put a few peppers out here. You'd never be able to do this ever on the grill. Not with all these pieces. So let's get it all out. There we go. Gonna hit it with some gourmet seasoning. There we go, I'm gonna grill those up. As you can see, the fish is cooking on this side, on the grill mats, right? I never could do this on the grill, ever. And then you can see my, my vegetables are cooking on this side. They're seasoned, they're getting charred, looking really good, nice. Okay, we're flipping the fish because the one side is cooked. Gonna give it a few minutes on the other side. Looks beautiful. Everything's staying intact. It's grilling perfectly. This would be not be possible without these grill mats. I'm telling you that right now. All right, look how beautiful and flaky the fish is. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Grill marks on there. Grill marks even, I mean, it, it did a great job. Let's give it a try. Mmm. I've been dying to buy some of the zucchini. Mmm. Oh man. Flavors are all there. Seasonings on it. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up for dinner. The grill mats work. All the products did really well today and yesterday. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Toys in the Kitchen. You guys have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.